I've really enjoyed reading the book of Ezekiel, Jeremiah, uh, and I'm just jumping into Daniel now, and I've noticed throughout these prophecies there's this call of the Jewish people home to the promised land, and that promise is still true today, even from the land of the north, we've talked about that before, and the land of the south, Ethiopia. But land of the north, you know, that's Ukraine, is straight north of us. And yeah. didn't we have some come? Well, we had a beautiful event for the children of the Ukrainian refugees mm. that made Aliyah just recently because of the war. Mm. So we held a beautiful, blessed event for them, welcoming them to Israel and also helping them prepare for back to school. So their first year studying in Israel, going to meet these new kids and new lessons, starting yeah. learning Hebrew. Uh, that's quite a big step for them. They don't even know that yet. But Chaim has been through this and I, <laughs> we went through that. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big step for them. So we held this beautiful event to give them backpacks equipped with uh, markers and notebooks and everything they need for school. Mm. Uh, some of it was donated by children here in the land. So that's wow. really beautiful. They wrote them letters welcoming mm. them and, and blessings. And um, so we were able to bless 20 families uh, here in Tiberias with this beautiful gift of love. And some of these families, of course, after they're done staying with us in one of our different locations and getting the food, clothing, shelter, we're able to help them move on to more permanent housing. And I've I found that uh, it's very hot and it's very hard to lift furniture. But some of that furniture is donated in the shipping container and then we're able to move them into permanent housing. They're, and they're Galileans just like us now. And that's just been amazing this month to be able to help these various families also to have some of those families in our facilities. Mm -hmm. They stayed with us their first two weeks in Israel completely for free, giving them the time to look for an mm. apartment, look for a job, you know, open their bank accounts, stuff like that. Yeah. So we had a few families like this staying with us during August. We have the Alia Forest now, because we used to plant trees, right, in all over different places around Israel, different um, properties, with our different forests. project that people, yes. that wonderful donors donated towards to plant trees in Israel. Yeah. So, now what did it's we in do it all one, this time? It's now in one place. I mean, for the future, we plan to just really continue to plant these trees by the hundreds uh, over, and we're calling it the Alia Forest. And then, of course, the city was like, hey, we, the, the, the you know, the area needs another park. These kids need something to do, and they need to, to uh, and they said a skate park would be good. Can we do it together? So we literally, in complete unity with the city of Tiberias and the mayor and the municipality, were able to, and with other organizations too, were able to all come together and not only have an Alia Forest in honor of the heroes from around the world who have helped, heroes like yourself, to support the immigrants as they fulfill the prophecies of the Bible and the dream of the Lord, Jacob's dream, but also to be able to see these kids skate and enjoy in the same place. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. Lastly, delivering furniture to these families, let me tell you what, they, instead of sleeping on the floor or on like a mattress, to be able to have a bed to sleep on, a nice bed, and when the shipping containers come from around the world, I'm just amazed to see the kind of good stuff. These aren't, these aren't nasty furniture. This is some really quality, you know, uh, couches and beds and tables and, yes. and things. So just thank you for the, for the work that you do to help not only the lone soldiers, not only Holocaust survivors, not only uh, those who are poverty stricken in the Galilee, but to really even get them furniture and clothes in our distribution center. Thank you for just sewing into the work of the LA Return Center. We're so honored to work together. God bless.